yeah, we're, we're hopeful it doesn't lose his thumb. But eggs are good, Sobe. I wonder if I could actually, I don't think I could lose my thumb. You're probably gonna see your biggest northern just walleye fishing. There's no help out here. We have no satellite phone, no service, no nothing. Ooh, this one feels heavier. This trip is just about to start, and this is, what are we calling this tour? So, this little island is snapper turtle land. We've seen like three different snapping turtles, this is crazy. That one's much smaller than the one that we just saw. They've been, uh, we threw out some dead fish that we had laying around, and they've been coming around and picking them up, it's kinda cool. All right, so we just finished up breakfast. Uh, AP's having a little snoozy. Um, Sobe and I thought it would be a good idea to have some shade by where we're spending most of our time, which is by the campfire. So we brought a tarp with. We're gonna take some paracord. We're gonna tie it around some trees and we'll see how this works. Um, I don't know how it's gonna work. I, I don't trust my craftsmanship, but maybe great things will happen. Stay tuned. All right, so right now I'm cutting the paracord. Um, we're gonna try to cut it all the same length. I'm using my arm for uh, reference. I'm guessing that this is around my arm's around a foot and a half long, so three, four feet, boom. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna burn these ends right here in the fire so the cord doesn't fray. So now the tough part is, is how we're gonna figure out how to get the tarp tied up to the top of that tree and the top of this one. Um, I'm guessing I'm gonna have to climb some trees. <laughs> Shoot. What we did is I had to climb this tree, which wasn't very high. It was a little sketchy. It feels like it's dead. It's like dying, dying tree. Um, so we got to hold me up there and I tied, tied some rope around the tree. Almost fell off, but I'm good. So we got that side up. And then after we got that side all adjusted, we came over to this tree and I got to climb this one a little bit higher, um, which was pretty difficult. This one has a lot of branches on it. So I was getting stuck in places you don't really want to get stuck in. All right, then for this side, we didn't have a tree for this side, so obviously we couldn't tie it to anything. So we kind of measured, all right, this is about the length. It was about six and a half feet from where we needed this to be up, just so we can walk underneath it so it's got plenty of height. Um, we, we supported it with a rock down there by tying the paracord from the rock to the top of the tarp. And then holding the tarp, that's where we really wedged in that six and a half foot tree. And uh, Mav had the bright idea of putting a big rock underneath it too so it doesn't kick out. Um, this way we have breeze coming in. I, I, we could walk in the woods and get shade, but out here we can cook, we can be in shade, we can get some breeze. Overall, it looks pretty janky, but it's it's like a huge player in staying cool, staying in the shade, and uh, having a nice little canopy to chill underneath. What do you think, Matt? Good work, dude. Boom. What is this? Got two of the greatest friends on earth. They brought me back some food to eat, and I'm so hungry. I've had a rough day. I haven't been feeling a whole lot good. Um, I don't know if it's because I'm dehydrated or if it's just from this. I, I've been trying to drink and it's just like not going down. But we had a storm rolling on us now, so we're gonna finish cooking that fish up and head into the tent. We prepared the fish a little different today. Mostly Sam did it, but I helped out. Mav did absolutely nothing because Mav doesn't like mayo for some reason. It's weird. Even if you cook with mayo, he doesn't like it. He gets kind of scared and he walks away. But what we have here is a little bit of mayo, a little bit of Frank's Red Hot, pepper, salt, and just kind of broiled the fish um, in some tin foil. A lot healthier for you. No breading. Throw some Tabasco on it when it's done. So good. <laughs> it's kind of nice when you have two boats, you don't really have to talk to math. <laughs> I'm totally kidding. But what we're gonna be doing is, we've been catching a lot of these fish on live bait. We've been catching a lot of these fish on live bait, live leeches to be exact. But Sylvie challenged me. He said, hey, you know what? I think I can outfish you with artificials. So we're gonna do a live bait versus artificial challenge out here. Um, first one to seven fish wins. Lucky number seven. The challenge starts in three, two. All right. Alex is using all actual live bait and I'm using artificials. Um, so just right here, I, I grabbed two artificials 
uh, that I that I really like, and I think it'll be good. Um, one's just a little chartreuse, Mr. Twister Tail, and one is a Ned Rig. Ned Rigs are like bomb for for smallmouth bass. But the reason I chose it is this color right here is like the same color that I saw from the natural leeches that were swimming in the lake earlier. So I'm like, this will work. This is going to be legit. So I'm starting out with the Ned Rig. Also, you just call like a 24 inch rod. I'm feeling confident. I'm feeling good. Let's go. The best part about walleye fishing is you could sit down in a nice comfy chair and jig for them. All I'm going to be doing is dropping down a leech straight to the bottom. Fish over 20 inches counts as two. Ooh, yes. First one to 10, then? First one to seven. First one to seven? Okay. No way. Fish number one hooked up. It's a little one. So this is fish number one. If you do catch one over 20, it counts as two. Leeches strike first. Okay, guys, folks, this is fish number two. It's about 17 inches long, a great fish. And that still means I am up by two. Jordan, are you nervous? That's a fish. Fish number one. Change up my bait to the chartreuse twister tail. Little Mr. Twister. That's a gorgeous golden little walleye. Oh, that's a big fish. There is definitely some fish right here to be caught. Oh, yes! Look at that. Walleye number three. It is now tied up three to three. And uh, looks like Artificials is kind of holding its own against some leeches. Oh, no. Ooh! I don't think it's 20 inches, but it's a nice lot. See ya! Oh, I just got bit again. He's going to eat it an idea that this is just a little too long. So I'm gonna shorten it so that they for sure can't miss. There we go, fish on. I'm toning my drag down just a little bit. I don't wanna pull it out of their mouth. That was awesome. That's fish number four, we are tied up. Fish number five. I'm definitely the underdog in this situation. Got Mav and Sylvie rooting against me. You got a lot of bait. There we go. Fish on. It's about to be five to five. Boom, look at that dark, gorgeous walleye. See you, buddy. No, 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 no. Oh, it's just a little dog. Yeah, yeah. There is fish number six for the walleye derby. And you know what that means? One more fish and it's over, Sobe. How does that make you feel? I'm nervous. I'm scared. <laughs> That's fish number six. We are all tied up. This is this is what it comes down to. It is six to six. <laughs> oh my gosh. No. You better get in the boat. You be better get in the boat. Yeah! Oh no! It is over once again, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, everybody of all ages. AP wins again. <laughs> okay, I was using the live bait. It's not as cool, but still. That was close. That right there. Should we eat that one or no? Yeah, we can eat that. We haven't kept any fish yet. Yeah. Let's eat that one. All right, guys. What a gorgeous night out here. I ended up defending my title against Sam Sobe, as he's actually known as. And um, I won seven to six. It was a nail biter. Lost some fish, but the live bait actually ended up winning, which is probably not a surprise for walleye anglers out there but it was close it, it was close which was a surprise um the hand is still not good and uh we leave the island tomorrow morning so we've we've made it into like i think probably 35 hours now of being alone being off the grid and absolutely no cell service nothing out here and we are got to get back to camp because we got to cook dinner before the mosquitoes get out so if you guys enjoyed this please leave a thumbs up if there's uh that's was a rock. If there's anything else you guys want to see out of this series, let us know. And um, man, I'm finally starting to feel better, which is which is a good thing. My hand does not hurt as much anymore. So, oh. fish on, and we will catch you guys next time on another episode of AP Bassin. We're told that the planes don't fly in bad weather, and I'm assuming that this is bad weather. So it'll be interesting to see our plane actually comes at 8.30 to pick us up or not. Otherwise, we're here for another night, boys.